Sproul, hidden during the Holocaust, unseen for 75 years, has reemerged and is being rewritten by Holocaust survivors. It's on a journey to survivors around the world, and today it was unfurled right here in Toronto for residents at Baycrest. CTV's Raheem Ladani was there. With every word etched by this quill with ink and arms linked with Holocaust survivors, this historic Torah scroll is being brought back to life. You did a great job. It brings me memories back from years and years ago. At 95 years old, Ruth Burnaman says she's lived through a lot of tragedy, but seeing this artifact is a testament to her faith. It means uh, assurance of our existence. In 1939, the rabbi of a Polish village gave this Torah scroll to his non-Jewish neighbor before being deported. The rabbi unfortunately was killed that very day in Treblinka concentration camp. This Torah was hidden, undiscovered for 75 years. A Jewish group recovered the severely damaged scroll from a shepherd's home and is using parchment made from the skin of a kosher animal to restore the sacred teachings and ensure survivors like Mila Dorczyk born in Poland with more than 100 members of her family sent to concentration camps, that their voices are heard. To lose the whole family, not what was the life of the concentration camp. How can, how can I feel? This Torah scroll is traveling around the world, and there are still more than 100,000 letters to be filled in, with every step seen as a mitzvah. A mitzvah is um, an, a good deed, an, an act of importance um, within the, the Jewish tradition. Once complete, this empowering legacy will be placed in a synagogue inside the residence of the President of Israel and used as a teaching tool to ensure the tragedy never fades and lessons live on. Rahim Ladani, CTV News.